I think there are a lot of things that we do differently to make our research scientifically rigorous. I mean, the first thing is that we come from a multidisciplinary background of social scientists. It's very rare that you see both of those sides of the house of the quantitative research and the qualitative research coming together, as well as um, scientists that are from academia, as well as product design, which is my background, coming together. Where else are you going to find a design scientist, a learning scientist, and a clinical scientist all working together to improve developer thriving? Our lab is a place where you can go to find evidence that tells your story. So we use a lot of mixed methodologies, so qualitative and quantitative insights, to drive these stories forward. We ran a large-scale quantitative project, but we also really wanted to build out qualitative understanding. I'm seeing that there really is a great marriage between the stories and the numbers. The two are really necessary to use together because again, the qualitative informs the quantitative and the quantitative in turn informs the qualitative. It tells a more holistic story of what developers experience on the day to day. I was part of analyzing this qualitative data, right? We do something where we we go into the text data, we look for themes and patterns that emerge. So I heard like every word that these engineering managers said, right? It's incredibly complex what engineering leaders today have to deal with. You have to be, you know, making decisions that are grounded in technical complexity, that are trying to do the best by your people, and that are trying to make really important trade-offs. I think that everyone is doing the best that they can given the evidence that they have. I think what we are doing right now is giving you new evidence. And a part of management is taking in new evidence and changing your behavior accordingly. The Developer Success Lab is here, not to say, you know, you're doing it wrong, right? But to say, these are the levers that you can actually use and that can make your life easier and better. We're all doing this research for you. And so because this is research for you, participate. Right? Get your voice heard because it's only going to be helping you in the future. We hope that as we put this data and evidence out, you know, we can kind of be together in moving the whole world forward on this. Come talk to us. I, I think that would be a, a great next step. Would you agree? Because I definitely mom to told us. Okay. Oh, I was thinking about mom. Okay. <laughs> I was like. <laughs>